Okay, it is now um 8.30 in the morning. The building is now open. So starting with the car riders, I'm going to go ahead and get them in the school now. So this school here, Ashton Park Middle School, it's a brand new school. It was opened in the year 2019, which is pretty recent. So the reason why this school was opened was because there were overcrowding at the two feeder schools. One of them being Hueyville Primary School and Ashton Park High School. So, it's 8.30, so now it's time to get the students in. I'm going to ring the bell to let everyone know it's time to come inside. Okay, that's the strangest thing I've ever seen. They ran away from the school. They're gonna get truanted. Oh, yeah, this is... Where is this? Why so much? I think this school is overcrowded too. I, I don't know why so many students live in this district, but it's ridiculous. First of all, the school's in the middle of nowhere, and that, look at that, there's so many, and they're just, and they're not even attempting to go to class. Let's get the bus riders in. Back of school. I'm only opening the right side. Yeah. I'm gonna have to report this to the governor. There's extreme overcrowding at this school as well. I highly doubt if there's a good reason for this school being excessively overcrowded. You know, any time a school is built and the students do not go inside, that's usually an indication that it's overcrowded. That's why they don't go. Because they're not really going to get good seating and then everything.
Ring the bell only makes them run outside, so I'm not gonna do that again. I'm gonna lure them. Let's lure them with this desk. Okay, gotta wait for green stars to appear. They're frustrated. There are tricks to this. Normally, it doesn't work as well when this school is extremely overcrowded. This school was built only to serve approximately 750 students. That is actually the biggest school in the entire cosmopolitan area. Most schools can only handle around 500 to 600 students. Greenville Academy is not a cosmopolitan school district school that school belongs to the um, Hunter College so that is not counted that's a private school just like Warminster and Woodward they're both private schools so they're not factored in we're only going to discuss public schools in this particular video um, when it comes to public schools this this is a regular occurrence um, they're just stuck in the lobby area because they're refusing to go to class. I don't know how am I going to get them to class. I'm a very bad principal. I just ran all my students out of the building. Great. I'm going to lose my job. Not that I ever got paid much anyway, but still, it was a pretty nice job to have. I mean... Yeah, I'm definitely losing my job because I can't get my students to go to school. What they're supposed to do, they're supposed to go into the cafeteria. And they're supposed to go through the lunch line. And they're supposed to get their lunches. And come their, their breakfast and they're supposed to come out. The reason why we do not allow anybody to eat in the cafeteria right now is primarily because of the pandemic so that's why um, the counseling center also is under construction so those services are being offered to other places at least the sixth graders are going to class why sixth graders are literally the most well-behaved kids that's a parent right there does not look happy why are sixth graders the most well-behaved students in middle school? There we go. They're going to class now. And for those of you who think about public transportation, don't even think about trying to take public transportation to Ashton Park Middle School because it, there, it does not pass here. The streetcar... This school is approximately a half a mile of woods on all ends. There really is no public transit connections. The reason, hey, 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 get off, get off. Where's security when you need him? Stop breaking the door. Go to class. Go to class. Oh, that's a parent. I can't tell the parents to go to class. Let's see how a classroom's doing. They're not really doing anything. They're just getting settled in for the day. I just turned the lights off in this poor innocent um, English teacher's classroom. Okay, I really don't think that all these parents should be walking around all over the place. I mean, come on. 
Why aren't these students making any attempt to go to class? Go to class. It is not that difficult to go to class. Jesus. You know, I never had this problem when I was working at Greenville. At Greenville, the students were eager to learn. They ran in the building. They went to class and they learned. I, they, they're giving me problem. This is why I do not like working in the public school system because I get this. Look, please tell me they're going to class. They're just walking in circles. No, they're not. I would just quit my job and walk away, but public transit is too far. I'm not going to get out of here that easily. I don't drive, by the way, so I just walk. This is not the courtyard of a college. They're just walking everywhere. I'm going to start sending people home. Another thing that is not very settling too is the fact that most of the villagers are wearing these green robes. In the school system we call them parents because they're not students here and because of the pandemic the only good reason for being in a school is if you're a parent. But um, look at that, they're even hopping over my bell, they're doing everything they shouldn't do. Yeah, keep running. Go to class. Where are you going? Where are you going walking as if you're in a gang? Go to class. Go to class. That's all you have to do. Go to class. That's it. It's very simple. It's a very, very simple thing. Go to class. Go to class. That's all. That is all you have to do. Yeah. And I better not see students pop up out of nowhere when I get up there either. I don't get paid $15 an hour to be telling people to go to class for almost half the school day. It is now almost lunch time. Lunch time and, 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 and nobody's gone to class. I bet if I go into classrooms, every last one of them are going to be empty. For those of you who do this to your principal in real life, now you see the hell that we go, that principals in real life go through. It's just like this. I am telling, and I want to hit them, but I can't because I'll end up in jail. They're not going to class. They say, no, I'm not going. We don't even have a cartography class here. We don't have a, um, Iron Smith class. So these students are most likely not even from this school. Science class is up there. And he's not going to it. He has the uniform on for science class. And he's not even going. And I could. Why is there a long line of students walking this way? Okay, I'm done. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, give up because they, they're not making my job easier. I'm just gonna throw the rule book out the window and start opening the emergency exits. Maybe that'll get them in the building. But then again, this is the first day of school, but usually people go to class on their first day. They're just standing in the lobby. It's a long line of villagers going to class. I think they made it to class. I don't know. There was a line here earlier. Hey. Yeah. 
you know what some of it is a real life issue too so man don't I miss the 60s where you could just smack the students when they do when they come in your school and break your doors and and walk around in the lawn and refuse to go to class and go in the dark classrooms and just stand there and yeah 60s and 70s it's 2021 I can't do that anymore I'll end up in jail and then I'll get smacked I don't even know how students got back here. This is a disaster. I'm telling the governor. Look at this. They closed the doors. <laughs> There's nobody in gym class. There is nobody in gym class. Wow. Ah. There is... Where are the furniture? There's nobody... There's nothing in orchestra, much less anybody in it. There is nobody in in-school suspension. Oh, Lord. There's nobody in band. They're all back here. Breaking the door. Why will they just don't... Why will they just... Just please go to class. Because this doesn't help me. This isn't going to help me keep my job. You're going to make me lose my job. Do you not care? Go to class. Go. Please tell me that's where you're going. They're not even going to class. They're just swarming the door. Go to class. All I want is for you to go to class. That's all. I don't want you to pay me. I don't want you to do anything. I just want you to go to class. That's it. That's it. Just go to class. It's, it's not hard. Is the work in the class hard? It's not even hard. There's nothing hard about this. What if you were at Greenville... And they wouldn't put up with this. You do this at Greenville. You're getting put back on the bus and sent home. You couldn't do this at any of the private schools in the cosmopolitan area. You couldn't. You couldn't do this at Greenville. You definitely couldn't do it at Chattanooga. You couldn't do it at Hunter Co Oh, that's an adult school. You couldn't do it there either. You can't do this at Warminster. You can't do this at Bennett's Cross. You can't do this at um, Woodward. You can't do it anywhere. Just refuse to go to class. Please go to class. That's not the way to class. I just want you to go to class. Why do you want to go to class? Now there's even, you see that guy in the pink beret right here? That's a lunch lady. So nobody's taking this place serious. I quit. Ashton Park is a joke. Look at this. There's even people piled up in the back of the cafeteria. Look at this. People are truanting. Let me turn the rain on. Maybe that will make them go in. So 
something is really wrong where people would rather stand in the rain and get wet than go to class. That is an issue. So you're telling me that it's better to stand in the rain than go to class. That is awful. Okay, you're definitely not using that entrance. Nice try. Everybody's wearing their uniform. I applaud them for that, but what's the point of wearing your uniform and coming to school if you're just going to stand out here? Okay, I think I've punished them enough. Let's turn the rain off. If these students don't start going to class and just go right back out the door, I'm kidding. Okay, I'm just gonna quit. I'm done. I pay my taxes so you can get a decent education and you don't even want to go to school. You just want to skip school. I paid my taxes for you to get an education. Now it's up to you to get the education. And you don't want it. You don't want it. You just want to stand outside the building and converse with each other and act a fool, acted silly, walking everywhere, walking in the lawn, standing on top of things, and... Now, I'm supposed to be the principal of all that. A principal should know how to control the school, granted, but it's kind of hard to control a thousand students in a school that's only built for 750 that doesn't where all of them doesn't want to do anything none of them wants to do anything nobody have a good 